Welcome back to the Express in Vancouver. On now in the city, it's the PUSH International Performing Arts Festival. It's a festival that focuses not just on live performing arts, but also on shows that take risks, that are relevant, that are innovative. Up next, it's a musical adaptation of Dostoevsky's classic, The Idiot. It's the collective expression of Nastasia Filipovna's sorrow brought on by years of abuse. At this moment, they actually go into not only just a snippet of adoration, but they actually go into the lamentation of her, her abuse, her systemic abuse. This is one of the many original musical numbers in The Idiot, a stage adaptation of Fyodor Dostoevsky's classic novel. While the story is set in Russia during the 1860s, the musical blends aesthetics from that time with modern dialogue to create a truly unique experience. Compensation for my ruined life. Sometimes they'll think that they're actually watching an accident happen in front of them, that it sounds sometimes so real and so uh, present. No, I can't marry anyone. I'm sick. The play follows Mishkin, a Russian prince who returns home after spending years at a mental institution. He quickly finds himself torn between marrying a beautiful, well-to-do woman and an innocent young girl, a predicament that would eventually render him the victim of deceit. The theme of abuse, there's the theme of betrayal, there's the theme of love, the hopelessness in the face of a changing world. Themes that are just as relevant today as they were 150 years ago in Russia. You know, there was a, classes that were disappearing, the rich were getting richer and the poor were getting poorer, much like it is now. So there's a lot of it that is just the same as nowadays, and I guess that's what the design team and the director have been trying to do. The hard part for producers wasn't trying to convey the themes and emotions of the story in musical form, it was simply condensing the 600 plus page original into a two hour long play. I had to, to really distill that down to uh, the bare bones and not lose the energy and the life of the play. But in the end, the aim is to present Dostoevsky to a whole new audience, an audience they hope will be enthralled by spectacular costumes, music, and drama, even if Russian history isn't their forte. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. The award-winning team that's producing The Idiot also remade Crime and Punishment in 2005, which got rave reviews. You can see The Idiot through to January 29th at the Frederick Wood Theatre at UBC. But right now on The Express, the showstopper is in the spices, with the royal taste of India coming to Whistler. The key I would give it to someone else, use always the fresh ingredients, fresh meat. All the spices I do, they, they made from home. I don't buy the box stuff. Fresh roasted spices, authentic homemade Indian food. Executive chef Ustad Surinder Paul prepares his dishes, just like his father taught him, and just like his grandfather taught his father. When I was 17, my dad was in the cooking business. I was his helper. That's where my passion came along, and then I became a chef. People call him Ustad, and the same thing, Ustad means his guru, like a teacher. And uh, he's, uh, he worked in India 35 years, and he been here 15 years, and uh, he opened a lot of uh, lower mainland restaurants. When you come to the Royal Taste of India, you always mm -hmm. get your complimentary wafer, lentil wafers. Mm -hmm. And now Ustad is sharing his Punjabi family traditions and recipes in Whistler at the newly opened The Royal Taste of India. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're very addicting. <laughs> wow. Beautiful, thank, thank you. you. Everything's made in our tandoori oven. Most dishes from Punjab and uh, we have uh, some dishes from all around India. We have a uh, chicken bandalu and uh, lamb bandalu that is special dish from Goa, that is from South. Have you had a chance to try everything on the menu? Uh, not everything, our menu is 11 pages, but <laughs> <laughs> I have I have all together 130 dishes, different vegetarian, non-vegetarian and a seafood. Mm. Oh, that is so exciting. Tandoori chicken, cod and lamb all in one smoking dish. 
the ethnic diversity of India's 28 states is plated here. While the cuisine is traditionally prepared, the staging is more contemporary. Indian beers and even whiskies are showcased at the bar as well. I bring the royal, royal dishes, all the royal food from India, but I want to give them a look, modern look, not an old look. I bring a modern view with the traditional food and more best and food as well. I put some pastas as well because sometimes families come in and uh, there are some people, some kids don't like to eat Indian food. The past also taps into the future in the restaurant's new ordering program. We have a new system that's with Lavu and how the, the waitresses are going to come up, they're just going to come up, take your order, you get an option sometimes, they give you prawn or tandoori chicken, you click it and everything's going to be in Everything's going to be in the kitchen before your server even leaves the table. New bridges the old as Nan is pulled fresh from the tandoori oven. So many choices, stuffed, plain, garlic or nuts. That's exactly how I was feeling after indulging in the sweet bliss of the Kashmiri Nan. We have a raisin in there, cashews and olives and uh, all kinds of nuts in there. That's really good. <laughs> Thank you. She must be so excited. Dishes are only standard in name, not taste. Flavors are steeped in generations of family experience. So even if you don't speak Punjabi, your taste buds will translate. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. Well, cheers. <laughs> The Royal Taste of India hosts their grand opening on February 2nd with a Bollywood theme. Nicole says to expect a side of belly dancing with your lamb vindaloo. You're watching The Express, and this is what's coming up. Quality Assured Collision Road Trip visits Lonsdale Key. A unique mix of fresh products and baked goods, confectionaries. The Push Festival wows audiences once again. The Express. We are your local voice. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV. Provided by The Lounge Hair Studio. Loungehairstudio.com This is where I live. I was young when I came to Canada but my roots have never left me. My family is passionate about sharing our Persian culture here. It amazes me how people come to Canada from a thousand different places and backgrounds, and we all call it home. We all love it for different reasons, but we all call it home. The Express in Vancouver. It is cold outside, but we're going to warm things up with food and drinks and shopping on today's Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Travel along with us as we explore the many marvelous attractions and activities of beautiful British Columbia on the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. We're taking a road trip to Lonsdale Key in North Vancouver. We've got over 80 shops and services here at Lonsdale Key Market, a unique mix of fresh products and baked goods, confectionaries, uh, florists, retail upstairs, unique retail, um, international food court here has a little bit of everything. One of the biggest draws is the market, which sells fresh produce and all kinds of foodie delicacies. And if you're looking for that perfect gift for someone, you've come to the right place. Favorite Gifts pretty well perfectly encapsulates what Lonsdale Key Market is and the entrepreneurial spirit that you find spread around the market here. Really, really beautiful. One of our best sellers. The store is very fun and whimsical. It's uh, everything are things that I love and made by people that I like. <laughs> we've got jewelry, accessories, handbags, we've got stationery, baby things, and just about a gift for anybody in your life. And if there are any children in your life, Lonsdale Key has a very special area just for kids where they can play, get their hair cut, and find stores full of kids' clothing and accessories. What's your soup of the day? Today we have four specials. So. And no trip to Lonsdale Key Market is complete without a visit to the Soupmeister. 
We make everything fresh on the premises. And I think it fits people's lifestyle. If you eat a bowl of soup for lunch, you feel, you don't feel hungry anymore, but you don't feel full, like you have to take a nap. And we entertain people sometimes too, yeah. So. The Soup Meister here at the market is hands down the best soup I've ever had. Ralph, who runs the Soup Meister, is quite a character. He's here every day. He's, he's a bit of a local celebrity here, so we really like to have him. Lonsdale Key Market has it all. Color, community, food, and fun finds. Lonsdale Key Market is a great place for tourists and locals alike to spend the day and really experience a uh, fun time here on the North Shore. In North Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for Shaw TV. Entertaining and informative, the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Wednesdays on Shaw TV. Always something new and exciting. The website is lonsdalekey.com. It's open seven days a week. The market opens at 9 and most of the shops open at 10. Now, as we showed you earlier on today's Express, on now in Vancouver is the Push International Performing Arts Festival. In their words, they present works that are visionary, genre-bending, startling, and original. And we've got a spotlight on some of the standouts. Deadpan dialogue layered with elaborate vocabulary and brilliant choreography sheds light on the subtext of professional office etiquette, water cooler gossip, and Japanese corporate culture. A Fijian matriarch decides one morning that her time is up. In true Fijian fashion, she orders her grandson to organize a feast so she can name her successor, her number two. El Pasado es un animal grotesco, the past is a grotesque animal, playing at the Gold Corp Center for the Arts, is a funny and moving portrait that takes place atop a slowly spinning turntable stage. A reminder of time's ceaseless march. Something new they're doing this year at PUSH, asking the public to write facial reviews. What they want you to do after you've seen a show is grab a piece of paper or the handy whiteboard they have at Club PUSH and write the show title on it, and then take a picture giving a facial review. Maybe a smile or maybe a not so much. Then they ask you to post that to their Facebook page. The website is pushfestival.ca and it runs to February the 4th. That's it for today's show. Thanks for watching The Express, only on Shaw TV.